Hello guys, this is a quick video to show you how to fix your iPad crashes. Usually after you install a new application from Cydia, whether it be XBMC, uh, Ice Films, or anything like that, anything new that you install to your iPad, especially if it's from Cydia, it might start causing crashes. The reason for this being is the memory that is being used by those programs. So for example, let's go to my settings. just give you one example of this right now I have 219 megabytes the iPad naturally comes with about 329 megabytes of memory but because I have so many different little things running in the background that I you can't see right here right now so let's get rid of FaceTime and let's get rid of mail for example there are other things that are running that you can't see there for example I know for a fact that I have IntelliScreen X running right here you see and because I have that running, it's using up my memory. So, you know, 200 and how many member? How much is that? 223 is actually pretty good, and it's fine. It'll keep the iPad running pretty good. But when you start, when you start running all these different little tweaks and system add-ons, it starts to slow down your system. So let's say I st started whiteboard again. All right, and let's go start whiteboard. So that it went down 10 megabytes just for one simple device. All right, and now it didn't come back up even after I stopped. It. See that? So let's turn it off. It went back up. You see that? As simple as that. Simple little things like that affect the memory being used on your iPad, and these things cause crashes. So the more stuff you have running at, at any single time the more likely you are to have a crash. So for example, I have Quasar off, I have um, Deep End off, a bunch of the little things that I don't use on a regular basis off. So I turn those things off. Retina pad, I'm not sure if it's on or not, but again, let me give you another perfect example of this things that slow down your system. And it's uh, themes. If you have a high-end theme, for example, this Mountain Lion, OS X Mountain Lion, theme this theme sucks up a lot of memory I was using it I liked it but I had to turn it off right away because look at that big jump almost a hundred megabytes of memory or more being used up on just that so if I had more apps running like I have down here you see this and most people forget to close these things so if you don't remember to just uh, start shutting things down your memory is going to be eaten up by by all these little programs and then your iPad is going to start crashing when you try to run like watch a movie or something like that so I just closed a couple of those programs but the memory is still low this theme sucks up a lot of memory you can see it's not really changing went up 5 megabytes so it's these little things like that what I do recommend is that you install SB settings if you don't already have it installed uh, SB settings you can find it under Cydia and just do a quick search for SB settings <clears throat> and it's pretty much this little menu right here so you can turn on all these little toggles to turn on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode etc you can power and reboot your, your, your device from here so you go SB settings and there you go uh, again installing things like themes and stuff like that is gonna eat up it's probably not gonna take up so much but that's, those are the little things that cause the crashes. So, you know, keep be mindful of those and be mindful of your last install, especially if it's from Cydia. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you and have a good one.